Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you a web page that I talked about in my previous video I did on TriHackMe. Um, <clears throat> I, I tumbled upon this website. It's probably not new or anything and I, I, I think I like it. It's, um, it's a web page where you can create a reverse shell. <laughs> That's basically it. It's, the name is even revshells.com and what you really do is you put in your own IP address and the port you want to listen to and then you get a listener here. Now, this is what I really like about this is that if, let's, let's assume that you are not on a Linux system but you are on another system, uh, let's say Windows something, Windows Con PTI or you are on, uh, you need to use, let's just say SoCat, or you need to use RustCat, you know. You can just choose here, and basically it's just gonna give you the the code you can copy-paste. So let's do Netcat, and it's gonna listen on, it basically just say that it's gonna listen on, on port 5557, which is the port I, I tapped in. You can also enable, disable like the advanced features to choose which type of software I use to listen for incoming connections. So this is the listener. Now for the actual reverse connecting piece of code, which is um, what people usually describe as the reverse shell, it is really not a, sh a reverse shell or anything. It is just, you know, a piece of code that connects. Then you can go to the, you know, the tab here and say, I want to do reverse. And I want I want Linux, for example. And you can choose different kind of ways. Vignetcat, C code, Rustcat. You know, you can even do Perl, PHP, Python, Ruby, Socat, Java, wow, uh, ZSH. ZSH, yes, Lua, Golang, so many different ways for you to get a connection back, a reverse connection. You can also say that, but no, listen, I, I have, have Mac, then those are the Mac ways, uh, or Windows, you can choose the Windows ways. So it's not, I, I think it's a really good small web page. Um, <clears throat> so you can say, I want to I wanna use, let's see, PHP, because this is my PHP server. Then basically you just open a connection that way. You can also do bind stuff, so only two different kinds. Or Mesosplice Venom, MSS Venom, which is basically a, an exe file you are generating. As you can see, the, the dash O for the output is generating an executionable file, so that is for Windows. Um, you can also generate other kinds of stuff in the MSF Venom. You can create PHP shells and Python stuff shells and Java shells and many different ways you can just and all you basically gonna do is put in your IP and the port you're gonna listen to and you get everything here. And if you think this is too dark, you can go light. Whoa. <laughs> oh. Okay. I will. I. I. I'm not gonna go full. Po no. 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 Okay. So that was just a, a very bad joke from RevShields.com. Never. Never choose the Mimi one. It, it's. It's. Uh, it's gonna burn your eyes. All right. So. So I really like this. And you can probably feel that I'm saying I can really like this because I think if you're just going to look at the typical pen test monkey reverse shell, you know, um, cheat sheet, I, I kind of never, um, I always just use these, you know, it, it, it's been like the legacy for so long. I, I think you can do more than enough or well enough just using pentest monkey but if you want to have every tool in your back 
and it it has to be easy every time. You make 100% sure that what you copy paste is your IP and the port you typed in. You don't have to correct it. You know, I I think this is a really good web page. It does take some time to get used to because there's so many bash i bash one nine six bash read line bash five bash UDP. Whoa, you know, I. I I think the one we usually use on Pentest Monkey is, is to be honest, just the, the normal bash TCP, you know, and 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 we're gonna find this here. It's the one they call bash i, which is the exactly like that, yes. And and I think what they could do on this web page here in Ref Shells is probably to make this list here a little more informative they could make the page a little wider and show advanced oh yeah we can even choose and say so this is the bash we could also say bin sh it, I, you know it's very customizable i would like to say that it's probably i I think this is really good URL encode. <laughs> Double encode, base64. Yeah, you know, it's it's a one tool wonder, you know, it's Yeah. Not really sure what to say. A bad things raw. And then you get the raw one and you can even just press copy and then you're good to go. Yep. So use it. I I think it's 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 one of the gems you might find on the internet that's probably not used that much. I haven't seen it in any video so far. Well, that's not true. I, one I, uh, yesterday I watched the video. Um, usually when I do a try hack me room, I, I I end up watching you know videos of others who did the same room because I want to see did they solve it in in a different way? Did they? Use another approach, you know, and 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 usually there are different approaches, and and I think it's important to 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 learn and and to share and to and to watch what what others do. So so that is um, I think very important. So I guess for this video, refshells.com. It's um, it's a good website. I it's really difficult to say anything bad about it. It's uh, very customizable. You can everything is customizable. It's it's more than enough. I, I I hardly think that I will ever use all the options, but that is the good part of it. The variety of different kind of tools you can you you can use and and the combination of stuff only from the IP and the port. That's very very flexible. And it, oh, 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 it even tells me that it's root privilege required and it goes to 1023, which is also the legit number of the reserve ports. I, I think, okay, so it doesn't have any, okay, yeah. So use it. I'm going to put the link in the description and I'm going to try and use this a little more, I guess, when I do some try hacking rules. And then I'm just going to say until next time, take care.